Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how to backtest any of your forex strategies that you may have with Python and today we are going to use actually Backtrader and MetaTrader 5 Python frameworks, okay? And by the end of this video you will be able to fetch live historical data, okay, directly from MetaTrader 5 and run your strategy on it and see your results at the end. So <clears throat> let's get into this as you can see this is a full template of what we are going to do today okay and at the end this is the result that we're going to get we are going to get our starting portfolio and final portfolio and portfolio and at the end we are going to have the plotted version of our backtesting results so let's close this and start doing it again so here I have a Jupyter notebook okay and I'm going to name this file video mt5 backtest. Okay. Let's get into this. At first, okay, we need to import actually the things and frameworks that we need to import. At first, I'm going to import MetaTrader 5 as mt5 then import back trader as bt also we are going to import pandas as pd and from date and time we are going to import date and time also import matplotlib.pyplot.pyplot as plt for our plotting okay so uh, okay, here should have no. Okay, so now let me run this code to make sure everything is fine. So our code was fine, and now we are installing MetaTrader 5 to fetch data, BackTrader for the backtesting engine, and Pandas for data handling. And we are using Matplotlib for actually plotting our data and the results. So now we are going to connect to MT5. So I'm going to say if not mt5.initialize okay then print mt5 mt5 initialize failed okay and then mt5 shutdown okay and else means if we what well, weren't connected to mt5 okay sorry oh my god okay so print mt5 connected all right so what this does this makes sure okay that we are connected to our mt5 terminal okay and for that, you need to, of course, download your MetaTrader 5, okay? You need to download MetaTrader 5, and we run this code now, okay? And then it's going to open your, actually, MetaTrader 5. And as you can see here, I have my MetaTrader open now. And it says MetaTrader 5 connected, so it means now we are connected to our MT5, okay? So the next step is to fetch our historical data, actually. So I'm going to define the symbol that we want to backtest. Let's use your USD for this video. And I'm also going to give the time frame with the function mt5.timeframe 15 minutes, okay? And then I'm going to define a variable called rates and call this function copy rates range, okay? And then as the input, I'm going to give the symbol that we defined earlier, the time frame, and then I'm just going to give two random data ranges, okay? So now I'm going to give date time, okay? From, let's say, 24, 1, 1, then another date time, 2024, 2024, 6 one okay so here we are actually pulling 50 minute 
data from Euro USD from January to June uh, 2024. Okay, and now we need to put this into pandas data frame format. Okay, I need I missed one parenthesis here. Uh, okay, I think I missed spelled something. <clears throat> Let me check. It's uh -huh. so here I need to put M15. Okay, so for 15 minute time frame. So now everything is fine. And now we need to put this into pandas data format. So I define our data frame and call pandas pandas data frame. And then I'm going to give the rates that we already defined. And for my data frame in time index, I'm going to call again pandas to date time and here data frame time index and I'm going to give the unit of our time as seconds okay so here now I need to set the index okay data frame dot set index and I'm going to give the index as time okay and in place to true okay and what this does this is going to create the index of my actual price data with time and by in place equals to true we are making sure we are doing that exactly on our main data okay and now if my if I print my data frame head okay you can see our data it's now very clean we have the, all of the times here by using this pandas date data time format and the next actual part is for us to actually convert these data that we have to the data format that back trader needs okay so convert it to back trader data feed and for that i'm going to use a class here okay you guys can just copy from this class. This is the format of data that data tr uh, that back trader wants for back testing. Okay, and in another cell, I'm going to define our data. So our data now is this class that we defined, pandas data, and I'm going to name the data as data frame. Okay, and wait, I think I. Uh -huh, yes here data name okay I, okay now we now our data is ready okay and the next step okay is to create our strategy okay so for our strategy I'm going to just use a sample strategy just as the past video I'm going to use the sample strategy for SMA cross okay of back trader they have a very no, SMA normal SMA cross strategy that I'm just going to use as a sample strategy for our today's video okay here we have an SMA cross strategy okay here is our parameters which is going to tell us the period of each of the SMA indicators okay here we are defining our initializations we have the SMA1 okay backtrader.indicator.sma and we define the period as this parameter here and SMA2 okay again the slow period okay and then we define what is crossover and in the next function we are saying that if we are not in the position okay and if the crossover happens and crossover is greater than zero it means if the fast moving average crosses above the slow moving average we enter a long trade we buy okay and if the crossover is under zero we are going to close our long position okay so now this is our strategy okay our next step is to run actually our code so now i'm going to define cerebro okay bt dot cerebro okay what this does actually bt dot cerebro is the attribute of back trader that we are going to use to add our strategy add our data do the actual core stock stuff that we want to do so for that at first i need to define cerebro okay after that 
I can add strategy okay cerebral dot add strategy okay and what was the name of our strategy here SMA cross okay so I paste it here now we also need to add our data so cerebral add data what was the name of our data data so I paste that here okay now I will also set a cache okay for our back testing so cerebral dot broker dot set cache and I'm going to give the cache as ten thousand dollars okay I'm also going to add position sizing so cerebral dot add sizer bt uh, sizers percent percent sizer and then give the percentage that I want to risk let's say for this video I'm going to add 10% this means each trade that we enter we are risking 10% of our actual balance okay so now I also set a commission uh, to make our back test more realistic the broker set commission okay and I'm going to give the com commission as this so now the next step actually is to tell back trader here with this command that at first show our starting portfolio okay and we're going to get that with this function here server dot broker dot get value it's going to give us our starting portfolio and then we are going to run our back test and then it's going to show us our final portfolio so if I run this uh-huh so as you can see all of these run okay we added our strategy we added our data we added our cash we added our position sizing commission then we run our back test and this was our starting actually blood balance we had ten thousand dollars and now we are at 9900 so it means we lost hundred dollars because this is just a random strategy sample strategy that I got from back trader but if you implemented your own strategy that you worked on then you can make sure it works and you get positive results in your back tests okay and now if we now that we run our back test if we go and try to plot it at first I'm going to add matplotlib in line to make sure it plots it exactly here okay in Jupyter notebook and then I'm going to call cerebro and then plot and give I plot as false okay what this does it makes sure that it plots our results exactly here and if I run it aha uh -huh. so as you guys can see this is a visual representation of our backtesting results. All of these buy triangles, okay, are our buy trades, and all of the red triangles are our sell trades. All these blue dots are the winner trades that we have, the successful trades, and all the red ones are the negative trades. Uh, and this was the backtesting results that we had here, the starting PNL and the ending PNL, okay, and that is actually how we run this strategy and run this backtest using backtrader and metatrader 5 python framework okay and whenever you want you can add any strategy that you liked okay your own strategy whatever strategy you like and then backtest it and see the results okay and also i'm going to put the template for these backtesting I'm going to put the Python template also in my Discord channel that I'm going to link it down below in the description for you guys. If you want to join, I'm going to create a new Discord channel for all of the people in our channel. And then I'm going to put our important content and the things that are going to help you guys in there. I'm going to put this template over there so you guys don't need to actually write all of these code by yourself you can just copy and paste it and change any parameters and strategies you like all right 
hope you enjoyed this video i'm going my next video is going to be about how to live trade using metatrader 5 framework with python and hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful see you in the next one peace